Hello. Sorry, I actually a technical guy, but I don't know how to manage the microphone. And I know everyone is very tired, right? So I wanted to show you something interesting. Okay. Um, today I've talked about uh, the power of Arnold Render for AEC. I'm Kim Viku, technical manager. Um, media and entertainment are different field, but our technology always applies to the AEC industry, right? And uh, Hong Kong, Taiwan, and South China. Uh, Arnold Render, what is it? Actually, uh, what you need to tell your story is picture. Um, um, it's better than a words. So um, in here, uh, rendering is uh, very important for your telling your story, your design. And uh, uh, Arnold from Solid Angle actually is uh, original from Sony's picture image work. And we acquired in uh, two, year, uh, two years ago. And we also got uh, received a reward award from Oscar, uh, Technological and Scientific Award. And it's famous for uh, both long form and short form production. Like uh, long form means uh, movie, movie makings, feature films. And what is it? Like uh, you got uh, like uh, Star Wars and Blade Runner, Avenger, X-Men, Independence Day, you name it, using Arnold. And what is soft form? Soft form is about uh, TV commercials. So here is a, a, a very interesting story uh, for uh, uh, automobile Volkswagen commercial. Let's take a look on the two minutes videos. Confident. The new T Rock. We make the future real. Volkswagen. So, what it is is a TV commercial, but we have done the thing. All is shooting in the videos, right? No, you're lying. Actually, we use Arnold to create a character. Let's see what happened. We've we, we done with the Arnold, with this uh, TV commercial.
interesting, right? So we're going to buy the Volkswagen afterwards. <laughs> so uh, you know, Arnold is very powerful. So how can it, the technology ap apply on the AEC industry? So take a look on this chart. First of all, it's a native renderer. It's integrated into the Maya and Max already. So you never need an extra payment for a license. And also, we include a real camera inside. I will tell you about that later on. It's a photorealistic renderer. You, you, you watch it, the result, right? And also, it supports IES profile lighting. So many of the manufacturing already have those. You can download it from the web. And it's easy to use with built-in material that you can find to, to anything you wanted. And also, it's simplified workflow with uh, Rithit and uh, AutoCAD integration together with Fidus Max. So you see how powerful it can be. So take a look on some example on the rendering of the uh, Arnold Render helped in the design industry. So this is for model, global animation, and uh, texture. So it's quite real. And also, this is a story about how to re renovation from an uh, industry, industry area uh, to in become a restaurant. And you can feel, feel the feeling before you build it. And also, some uh, apartments, bathroom, uh, museum, or something like that. And also, like, car design for manufacturing. So you can apply the rendering for all kind of stuff. So what can I use for, for lighting? So if we have a advanced lighting, first of all, uh, we mentioned about the AC IES profile. Uh, most of our manufacturing for lighting is already have the model and the ISF file uh, download from the web, like different kind of blend. So you can directly uh, apply the file inside the lighting system. And uh, this is an um, uh, example of a uh, photo I take from an uh, MTR station. It's all the lighting. Normally, you need to put like uh, maybe hundreds of lights to illuminate uh, places indoor. And how about this one? This is a, this is a rendering that uh, I just done for example. Uh, there's uh, like um, 40, 40 lights, something like that. And actually, this is uh, one light only. In Arnold, uh, we can apply um, a tool called Match Light, with your designed object become a light. So let's uh, uh, simply uh, work for how we can do that in here. So we have an object, or maybe we built inside the uh, uh, rivet or model in here. Just apply the lights with the model, and then we can have the RGB to tune up the light with intensity or explorer, like, uh, and then we start to render. And then we can tune the value in simultaneously and get the results. So finally, you got a light uh, rendering like that. So it's just one light to render the whole scene. It will be very fast. And the second example is, so this is an uh, area we, we notice is just below the after that office in one chai. So we got an uh, exterior environment and then the sunlight. In this example, uh, actually, I got two lights only. One is uh, environmental light, and also a directional light for the like uh, shadows and uh, sunlight from the sun shining on the floor. So this is a example of what we can do that. So uh, same, uh, when I start render, it's nothing because there's no light. So I create a simple environment light called Sky Doom, and then I apply uh, environmental. So you can take a photo on the like. Uh, Victoria Harbor for parametric images, and then apply to it, become a lighting. So when you first render, then we'll have an overview for you to how you can, uh, the lighting will be. And then I uh, add a, like, like a portal light is a, is a control of, of the light, what window you can uh, shine out from the outer, spec, outer, outer environment. So I put it, put it down in here, and then uh, take, a, take a look on the results. So I put a uh, portal with the environment and through this window, and then start a render. So actually, it's a blocking the, my, my, the wall with my camera. So we will see that only in the middle of the uh, light have some what you call the global illumination. Uh, the lighting is shine through the window to the wall. 
okay? So if I adjust this one to different area, then I will get different results. So it's very simple if you have multiple window or something area, want to, the lighting will be uh, controlled with different mood or different uh, uh, color temperature and you can control it like this. And finally, I will create a directional light and to, to create a uh, sunlight uh, uh, go through the window. So that's it, this is the operation. So it's very simple, it's just a few minutes. Then I got the rendering just like that. And also, uh, Arnold have built-in material library for Phoenix Max and Meyer. And you got the auto, like uh, metallic, glass, like human, put different kind of uh, uh, shaders already in the library. So this is some uh, example for you. And you can download it, uh, if you don't have that, you can download it from the Solid Angle web page. Then just, uh, you can just search, Google it with Arnold Shader. Fierce material library, and you can get all the materials. So uh, simply, just find it in Shader and install it, and we can get the library. And how about the camera? The camera is already equipped with the VR feature. So uh, in the camera, in the Arnold, Arnold side, you can change it to the VR camera. You get uh, side by side or over under for the stereotropic rendering. And also, how about the V60 uh, 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 VR? You can uh, land lot of two projection or cube map for the rendering. So they just uh, set the camera and then rent it out. And this is an example, but uh, my software cannot play it uh, correctly. But uh, you can see what what we can do with the rendering. <laughs> So the camera is just put inside the building. You just rent it out, and then you got the result. So with your, uh, uh, like um, your phone or your uh, application, you can view it in the 360 for this uh, uh, MP4 movies. But uh, my notebook didn't did play well because we got a mobile phone to to show it, right? Okay. So another thing is uh. uh we got a product called uh, Stingray, right? Now it's migrating into 3ds Max. We, 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 we package it into 3ds Max Interactive. So when you uh, go to have a 3ds Max, you got both Max and Interactive products. You can download it from uh, the, your account that's uh, in the 3ds Max. You will have a 3ds Max Interactive to download, and then use the same license from the 3ds Max to install the license and then you got the application. Just like the old days, Stingray. So um, we got all the features, so how to learn on render. So uh, in the Solid Angle web webpage, you got all the uh, tutorial uh, files and instruction to help you to, uh, for a user guide to help you to learn it. And also the area, the order that's so come, we got all the tons of uh, material, uh, instruction, uh, file for your uh, Max or Maya to test it. And also uh, this is uh, one of the example uh, from the area the order that's so come. Yeah, uh, just simply open it and render it and then you got a, bad, a good result. And also YouTube, learning channel, order that's all I like with it. Um, all our kind of product have a learning channel in YouTube. And don't forget we got a media entertainment collection. They already have all the Arnold uh, within the package. Thank you for your time. Have a good day.